Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today I will be talking about the Hero Wars mobile events, right? Multiple. Uh, Black Friday and the Stolen Life Kai event. So without further ado, let's check it out. Alright guys, so here we are in game, right? We have the Black Friday event as well as the Stolen Life Kai event. So here we can see an overview, right? We have free avatars and frames for any purchases. Uh, we have event, holiday bundles, Stolen Life, open chest with a 55% super discount. And we have a daily discount option here. So first, uh, we have the Black Friday event, right? And the really cool thing here is for the daily login assemble, we get 100 emeralds daily, which is pretty sweet, especially if you're free to play. Of course, right? And then we have purchase streak. So this won't apply for free to play. But basically, if you make seven purchases, you get various avatars. And the very last one looks like a very different type of frame. So that's what you get there, right? And that was under free avatars and stuff. Here we have in the event. And this looks a little broken right now to me. So I'm assuming they'll fix this. But 15 summoning spheres, the rest of your guild gets 80, uh, as well as a bunch of Titan potions. So that's a little bit off. Uh, but great deal if you can swing it right now for your guild. We got Treasures of the Dominion, or Treasure of the Dominion, right? We got three different bundles here, right? This 5,000 Emerald one, a 9,000 Emerald one, and a 20,000 Emerald. So those are our three different bundles that we have available. Um, we also have, right, we have the Stolen Life Kai event, right? So Kai has been reworked officially. I will talk about that shortly at the end here, but we have the typical assemble, right? We get four soul stones of Kai just for logging in daily. We have spending energy. They want you to spend 8,000. That's a good chunk of energy, but you also, again, get a good amount of soul stones in exchange for that. We get value exchange, which is all about spending emeralds. And yeah, 40,000 emeralds is a lot of emeralds. We also have Warriors Becoming. So here they want you to get Kai to orange rank. Um, I already have Kai up to violet rank, which is nice. And let's take a look at the next deal that they have here. So it looks like we have an open chest with a 55% super discount, right? So opening 10 heroic chests only costs 900 emeralds, where it normally costs 2,000, right? Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking at there. We have the daily discount, which is today on the Outland chests. So here you can see it says 55%. And so typically the open 10 is more expensive. And now it's only 360 emeralds. Of course, obviously, you know, there's the open 100 um, if you've opened enough, right? So I think that's usually available at least. Um, I'm free to play, so I don't have that option. But yeah, it's pretty cool that they have a different thing that's going to be on sale each day. But yeah, that's a quick overview of everything that's going on for the Black Friday and Kai event, right? But real quickly, I do want to go over some of the updates that we got with Kai, right? So here's my Kai, right? He looks cooler already. So I personally thought Kai looked, eh, whatever, kind of boring. But now I kind of think he looks cool. I don't know what they really did. I guess they messed with his hair a little bit um, and revamped, you know, a little bit of what he looks like. But he looks cooler. I don't really know how to explain it. He just looks better. And I'm also going to talk about some of the improvements to him right now, right? So some of the differences, right? So Fetters of the Wind, right? It looks like this damage uh, calculation has been revamped. So now it's 45% magic attack plus 100 times skill level plus 100. So basically here, right, instead of the 75 times skill level, we're getting more damage output for the Fetters of Wind skill, right, which is awesome. Uh, then we have the next skill, right, which is Breath of the Abyss, right? And here what we have is an increase in damage output again. So 30% magic attack plus 45 times skill level, where before it was only 20 times skill level. So basically... There's a lot more emphasis on skill level. We also have Explosive Sphere, right? And the Explosive Damage did 30% Magic Attack plus 
40 times his skill level. Now it does plus 60 times skill level. So it's going to be more effective, right? And the sphere damage itself again. So 30% magic attack plus 75 times skill level. So now the skill level for Kai matters that much more, right? Um, and ultimately, Kai is just going to be dealing mad amounts of damage because he already used to deal a good amount of damage, but now he's really, really viable. And I think this revamp really, really helps Kai and is someone that you should potentially consider using in your main team. And if not, then definitely in your Grand Arena teams. This rework for Kai, I would say, was kind of much needed, and I think um, it will put him back on the map as a very viable hero. Now, with all that being said, this was a quick video on the Black Friday event as well as the Stolen Life Kai event. So thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you all in Dominion.